Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the 18th and the final video for the Golang restaurant management backend project series. And uh, so in the previous video, we were getting um, a, an error out here, right? Claims or expires at. And that was because of this package. We had not installed this package. So all I did was I um, just went to my terminal and I said, go uh, mod tidy and install this package. And even that error, we were having only one error in this file and in, in all the whole of the project. And then that error went away. So now we don't have any errors. And I also did go, go build and I didn't get any errors. Uh, because we have already solved all the errors right uh, along the way uh, from video number 15 onwards and now when you uh, basically start the project right when you start the project you say go run main.co the project will start for you and it asks me to allow access to the, uh, the the firewall asks me for access and i allowed it so you can see that all the APIs are working, right? All of our APIs are working, our users, tables, orders, invoices, etc. And all we have to do now is go to the auth, uh, like the restaurant management collection in Postman. And we have to start basically um, calling these APIs. So let me change uh, all this data basically. And phone number also I'll have to change now let me try signing up so it does sign me up if I try to log in it will log me in as well and give me the token right and all of our APIs like add menu and add item all of those will work sorry oh, I had to copy and paste it so let me copy and paste again copy and paste so it's it has added a menu for me and you can add a food item uh, to the menu as well and all of the things right you can add, add a table date add order or item note invoice get food get menus all of that just like we did um, earlier just like we did in the first video just check out the first video in case you want to see it in complete detail and what I'm, I'll do is just copy this here the token and here you can see all the food items and if you want to see all the menu you can see all the menus as well quickly what i'm doing is i'm leaving um, this code on github and the github uh, directory uh, the link will be there in the description of this video uh, in case your program doesn't work like this and it doesn't work as expected please put uh, comments below or connect with me on linkedin and put, uh, you know send me the issues i'll try and help you out uh, if you've reached this far, if you've been with through the whole video, the whole series, right? It's a long series. If you've been um, through all this, congrats! You're really hard working. Uh, you know you've uh, come this far and you've done the entire project yourself. And now, I will continue with the older projects, but I'll also start a couple of new projects like uh, an e-commerce platform in uh, GoLang. So um, it's going to be slightly different. It's not going to be exactly the same uh, like structure as this with the restaurant manual. It will be slightly different, right? So if you're interested, do follow along with that also. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have subscribed, right? Because there's a lot of value on this channel. You get to see awesome projects like this. And finally, it's complete, right? Uh, it's been a long time. We've been following along and it's complete. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next uh, video series.